agree to disagree, today I will be talking about the series premiere of Under the Dome. This is based loosely off of a, a book by Stephen King called Under the Dome. I say loosely because I know they're going to be changing a lot of things, especially the ending of the series they already have planned. Uh, it's going to be different than the book. I remember reading that from a showrunner. But anyway, the show got pretty good reviews early on, and that's pretty much what got me to watch this show. I am, I'm a huge fan of Stephen King, but you can never tell with these type of shows, you know, how it'll, you know, relate to the book. And supposedly this doesn't even relate to the book that much. So, but regardless, I went into it <coughs> not really expecting much or really not knowing what to expect. And I am pleasantly surprised to say the show definitely has potential. And they, uh, a lot of people have been saying it's a Lost clone. Uh, and I haven't seen Lost, so I don't know. I will be seeing Lost sometime soon on Netflix, so I mean, I guess I'll know then. But as a show by itself, I, you know, not ever seeing Lost or anything like that, you know, I have no idea. So as a standalone show, this is good so far it has potential definitely uh the idea of the dome i think could definitely be corny and it definitely needs to be executed properly and i i feel they did that i definitely uh did not think they were gonna go as far as they did with the dome coming down on people and animals and stuff like that that was pretty intense i mean i definitely was not expecting some of the sights we saw uh, but it, I'm glad they did that because, you know, if something like that was to happen, that would immediately be, you know, the, <clears throat> the first thought. You know, it, it, there had to have been, you know, people or animals injured by this. So I'm glad that they did confront that. And uh, they did it very, very intensely. Uh, and I definitely have a couple faults with it. I mean, Specifically, <laughs> a couple characters. Uh, I, there was that one character, the psycho type character, and he's. I really don't want him on the show. It. It doesn't seem to relate to the dome at all. I mean, I don't get. I. I guess there's some um, symbolism and some metaphors that are there because you know, they're all trapped in the dome, and then he traps that girl. I mean. I can see the relation, but I just don't care. I want him off the show. It, it, it doesn't make for an interesting character for me. I mean, maybe I'll be silenced. Maybe it'll turn out to be cool. But as for now, definitely I'm not. That's one of my biggest faults is that character. I really want him gone. Other than that, I mean, there was a big ensemble, which I was very surprised about. And I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see more. And... I have one question though. I it's only the first episode, so I guess we'll, you know, sort of this might be brought up in maybe episode two or three or down the road. Can't they just dig out? I mean, if they can't fly and they can't go, you know, through it, can you just go like under it? I mean, th I mean, did I, ju did I just solve the the problem? <laughs> I mean, maybe they addressed it. I don't remember hearing about it, but maybe they'll address the next episode. I, but as for right now, I have no idea. Why can't they just dig under? You know, <laughs> problem solved. You know, series finale right there. Go, go, going under the, the dome. I don't know. But it should get interesting down the road, especially if that's, you know, brought up, addressed. Uh, when it comes to food and stuff like that, because there's only a finite you know, amount of resources in there. So they're definitely going to be coming across food shortages and stuff like that. So I, I want to see that, and I want to see how they address that and how, how they address a lot of stuff like that. I don't really care as much why they're in the Dome. I mean, maybe definitely before the sh show is done, but I don't care about that right now. I just want to see how they deal with it and how they live in the Dome. That, for me is what will be interesting. And the characters. The characters seem very proper, like very interesting and are written very well. So I'm very excited about that. I will say a standout for me in the 
season premiere, a uh, series premiere. And this might just be because I like them so much in uh, Base Motel. I'll just say Barbie in this show. Zach Shelby from Base Motel. Awesome. It was. It's good to see him in this, and I think he's cool. He's got potential. So it seems like he's kind of becoming the front runner of the characters here. I mean, it, it's hard to tell who's the main character. It just seems like there's a lot of them. But, I mean, I like Zach Shelby. I like the character. I like the actor. So, And, yeah, I'll probably call him Shelby whenever I refer to him. I mean, Barbie, yeah, he's Shelby. But how did you guys like Under the Dome? I mean... I can't wait to see more, and especially going into the summer when there's not a lot of shows. This will definitely be a show I look forward to. So definitely tell me what you guys think about Under the Dome. Go check out our Facebook page down below. Talk to me on Twitter, write in the comments, follow me on Instagram, and let's see if we can just agree to disagree.